questions you have. Thank you so much for being out there. If you're willing to give this a thumbs up, a like uh, to help us get out to more people, shares, retweets are so, so appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Uh, that would be me in the world if you like this content. But let's dive right on in. I'm going to add to the stream here, and you'll see me kind of bounce through a few different things. One of them I always like to check first is the lines. Vegas knows what games are going to be shootouts. They are very good at projecting this stuff, and I love to check what games they think could explode before then diving into my quarterback rankings and just overall offenses. You want points. You want games where points are being put up. It's not that complicated. So tomorrow, Cowboys, Bucks, 52. That's going to be a barn burner of a game. You see a few 48s, 48 and a half, 47s with Eagles, Falcons, Steelers, Bills, and particularly I think the Eagles, Falcons could definitely go over that. Uh, Vikings, Bengals, like a lot of intriguing offensive games here. 49ers, Detroit Lions is not looking like the best of targets at 44 and a half, but I think those 49ers will have no problems putting up points tomorrow, uh, Sunday rather. Cardinals, Titans, 52 and a half, a beautiful juice bomb of a game. Over 50 is what you kind of want, like you see with the Seahawks and the Colts there. 54 and a half for the Browns and the Chiefs. Ooh, baby, 50. Green Bay Packers and Saints, you love to see it. 50 and a half for the Ravens and the, Va the Raiders. Did not expect that one to be quite so high. In fact, I think I might take the under if I'm a betting man there. Uh, but you can see there's plenty of over 50 or plus games, and that's what you love to see. So we'll bounce back and forth between that. We'll also show you guys the PFF secondary rankings. I think that's crucial uh, to check out. They go through all their grades and project what are going to be some of the worst and best secondaries in the league, which of course is important for these quarterback rankings. And last but not least, as a process, I do love to check fantasy points against. Now I know, of course, the defenses from last year won't be the same exact as they are this year, but even still, it's nice to see the points against. If there's anything you can't see well, please keep me posted, comment in, but otherwise, Let's dive right into these quarterback rankings. I mean, nothing needs to be said about Pat Mahomes. Like we just saw 54 and a half projected. Uh, he's going to go crazy. There's no doubt about that in my mind. So against Cleveland, not a great secondary. I, well, they've actually upgraded the secondary a lot. I'm guessing they're pretty high here. Uh, top three secondary. But I'm not worried. Pat Mahomes is secondary proof. Let's see where they ranked last year. I mean, they were eighth most generous to quarterbacks last year, these Browns. Mahomes is going to get it done against anybody. Uh, so I am not overly worried about that, especially at home against, you know, anybody at Arrowhead coming against Mahomes. It's going to be a bloodbath. I know Nate Taylor said something like they haven't scored less than, I think, 35 in a home opener uh, for the last four years. So I'm, I'm banking on a ton of points from Patty Mahomes. Uh, you know, from there, we saw 52 and a half for Kyler Murray and Tennessee. I think that is definitely uh, something that I love. I know the Titans are not a good defense, the, the fifth best. We look at their secondary. I think it's going to be bottom. Yeah, bottom 20 there as well. So fifth most points, bottom 20 defense like Kyler Murray should absolutely smash. I really think Tom Brady, I mean, I think the, the Cowboys might have the worst secondary in the league. According to PFF, I think they're 28th. Cowboys, uh, 31st. So even worse than that. Uh, Cowboys last year. Only 14th in points allowed to quarterbacks. That's pretty surprising to me. Their secondary is atrocious. They're the, raising the banner. This is going to be a, a more seasoned Antonio Brown. Like Brady's going to go nuts. I do think Lamar Jackson could go pretty ham as well. But ultimately, he has no weapons to throw to. He was very ped, like pedestrian last year. Give me Brady. Give me Brady against Dallas right there. I, I can't have Josh Allen. Any lower than four. And I don't think the Steelers have a particularly good secondary. The 12th best, so, you know, nothing special, nothing bad either, not atrocious. 31st in terms of points allowed to quarterbacks last year. Pretty risky, but ultimately Josh Allen at home for Buffalo, like that is, you're going to get some points from him, no doubt about it. We had the, another 50-plus pointer from Aaron Rodgers and uh, the, the Green Bay Packers going to New Orleans. I'd love that one to just be a points bonanza. But Jalen Hurts against Atlanta, like that could be sneaky huge. And uh, Brian Tannehill has the run back. Love that as well. I don't know about Dak Prescott against this Tampa Bay defense. I think by the end, his stat line will be like, okay, you know, 300 ish yards, but I think he'll throw a couple picks, maybe one to two touchdowns. He's not going to light any world on fire, uh, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm not that in to Dak, even though, again, you know, nobody threw for more yards and they're going to have to put up points to keep pace. So I'm not going to bump him outside my top 10, but I think 10 is a very 
fair ranking there. And Justin Herbert, you know, obviously Washington has a great front seven. Let's see where their secondary steps up to the top, you know, 11 there. Not bad in terms of points allowed, Washington, uh, the bottom. So, yeah, they, they're pretty dang good uh, as a secondary. Dang good. Hoo -hoo. Uh, <laughs> Herbert should still. I think he's going to light this world on fire this year. Now, moving forward, playing that matchup game, I have two – think Baker Mayfield against Kansas City is going to have to sling. So as like a week one stream, I really like that. I do think Matt Ryan might even be in a better spot against the 27th. You're looking at pro secondary uh, PFF's rankings, the Eagles 25th. Pretty horrendous defense there. Um, so I think Matt Ryan, and I think that game is going to be a 40 and a half is nothing. I think that game is definitely going to smash that over. So really big fan. I, I might even take Jalen Hurts this week over Aaron Rodgers. I think Trevor Lawrence against Houston, like, yeah, I love that matchup on paper, but remember how bad Houston is against the run. They're just going to want to pound them into submission with Mr. Gus Edwards. Uh, I mean, I'd rather Mr. James Robinson. So I I like the matchup on paper for Lawrence. Houston certainly has, I believe, one of the worst secondaries. What do we got here? Texans they just traded Bradley Roby, who's probably their best player. Uh, so the secondary just got even worse. I imagine they're going to – just rifle down the bottom here. Houston, uh, you know, yeah, six most points allowed to QBs. Detroit, we got, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo coming to town. Atlanta, Jalen Hurts. The Jets facing Sam Darnold. I was sneaky. Love that game. I'm going to be bumping Darnold up big. You know, Murray against the, the Titans. Jacksonville Jags against QBs allowing a ton. But Tyrod Taylor, who gives a shit? Raiders, your top 10 in points allowed and still a awful secondary. So, you know, maybe I'm a little too low on Lamar here. I don't know why I'm searching Lamar's. Let's look where the Raiders rank at yeah, 29th. So a bad unit. Maybe I got to reconsider Lamar, um, bump him up just a little bit. But I really think Brady's going to be just hucking, absolutely chucking touchdowns. But I do like Baker. I I think Darnold, though, at revenge game Darnold, I'm going to go all in on that one. I think he's going to go nuts against – who's on the Jets secondary? Like, Could you name two people? I, could you name one? I can't. They're, they're atrocious. Uh, Stafford should be higher, but Chicago has typically had a good secondary 19, so nothing that special, uh, according to PFF. Let's see how they were in points allowed, 21st, so middle of the pack. Maybe I need to be a little bit higher on Stafford. I'll keep bumping in, and let me know if there's any specific matchups you guys want me to pull up. I'm a big Fitz Magic fan. I think that game has shootout written all over it. So clearly, you know, one of my bigger lowers of the, the week is Trevor Lawrence. That's a huge risk against this awful secondary. I just, I don't, I don't know. I think they're going to be very run heavy. I really do. Uh, let me see what Minnesota's secondary. They were atrocious last year, middle of the pack this year. Uh, what were they in terms of points allowed? So they, they were decent, but they just had no names um, last year. I think Zach Wilson's going to surprise. What about Buffalo secondary? I'm intrigued by Big Ben. Fourth best secondary, and they ranked you know middle of the pack, but they, they've made some improvements this offseason. So let's add a tier here. Let's call these like the remaining potential QB ones. You know, Joe Burrow, middle of the pack. I, he makes me a little nervous. I do think Cousins I might prefer as a week one streamer. And the Bengals might have the worst. Uh, 15th? I, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, 19th. So, yeah, I guess the Bengals have a little bit of a better secondary than I give them credit for. This seems about right, though. Uh, a little bit lower on Lawrence, higher on Darnold. I mean, Darnold over Lawrence. That's maybe I'm getting a little too antsy. Maybe he belongs like right about here. Because Lawrence, he looked so good in that final preseason game. I just think they're going to pound them. Like they just want to pound that rock if they can, and they they certainly will be able to against the Texans. But from here, big fan of Zach Wilson. I'm nervous about Winston against Green Bay. Great secondary, Jair Alexander, one of the best. Now it might just be uh, Jair, but yeah, sixth best there for Packers, one of the lesser ones. Yeah, so I, I'm a little nervous with not a lot of weaponry there. For Jameis, I'm going to be bumping him down. I'll bump Jimmy G up, even though I think the run game is what's really going to dominate there. Uh, from here, I don't like Carr at all. Don't like Tua at all this week. Freaking hate Daniel Jones. Like, 
I'll take this. I'll give Carson Wentz a little bit of a bump up over some of these guys as a, a desperation streamer. I think Matt Jones deserves more respect than some of these guys. Uh, he, he could be your, your sleeper of the week. We don't need to rank Fields or Lance or Hill. Um, Andy Dalton clearly belongs at the bottom of this list. Alongside Jared Goff, I, I agree with that. I think Bridgewater could sneaky surprise. Now, where are the Giants? They had Bradbury, who's good. So top seven secondary, according to PFF. Um, yeah, so they, that was a good secondary. That game just kind of reeks. But I'll, I'll take him over Danny Jones. Like I think Daniel Jones is going to just fall flat on his face. He's horrible. Tyrod has some rushing upside. I mean, he it's gross, but Jacksonville was top five in points allowed to quarterbacks last year. I think this is kind of how it's shaken out. So, like, God himself, Mahomes, with a 54-and-a-half over-under spread. That game should go nuts. You got your, like, elite QB1s that probably put up 25 to 30. You got your guys that will threaten to be those, you know, clear-cut QB1s, threaten to be in here. Fringe QB1s, high upside QB2s. Again, Stafford most weeks is going to have this type of upside. But against Chicago, first game in McVay's system, I don't know if I'm going to go all in right off the bat. And then your QB twos uh, right here. Then just please don't. Come on, be better than that. So those are my quarterback rankings. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.